Hello, my name is Clement with Patrick and Friends Music Company, and today we are getting weird with the sousaphone. So if you have checked out my past few videos, you now know everything you need to know to master the tuba. Well, what's the big difference with the sousaphone? You wear it. That's pretty, it's just a fashion accessory at this point, right? Kind of. So again, recognizing what key your horn is in is vastly important. This is an E flat sousaphone. Uh, mostly you're gonna find B flat sousaphone players. Now, in what context are we gonna be using these horns? Again, this being an E flat is typically used for maybe a smaller jazz group, uh, not usually brass bands, but it can be used in brass bands. Typically you wanna use a B flat for a brass band because it's big and beefy and it's just got deeper sounds. Again, me, myself, I am an E flat player and I'm much more comfortable in that range. You can do a thing called multiphonics where we get multiple notes out while we're playing. For example, just a note by itself. Well, if I wanna introduce multiphonics into the mix, I have to now sing a pitch through my throat while my lips are still buzzing. So if I find that pitch again, and I buzz, free buzzing, I need to find kind of the separation. Since that's just the air blowing out and making the lips move, I can still kind of control my vocal cords while that's going on. So now I kind of want to mess with the overtones and get all that kind of crazy sound going. It's a lot harder when you're doing it free buzzing hard on the mouthpiece, but it's good practice technique, so you get the idea of what it feels like to sing while you're buzzing. On the horn, you're gonna hear a bigger difference. For example. So, to practice that, you really wanna stay diatonic. On part three, you get a little even more weird is we're talking about beatboxing. Now, I don't call this regular, you know, average beatboxing because there are beatboxers in the world and they're phenomenal. But, right, if we're making percussive sounds with our mouth, that's really what we're looking for, a simple right? Just a little hi-hat and a bass. Well, when we put that in the instrument, it's gonna sound a lot different. So, you wanna take the time and get as experimental as you can with percussive sounds on, on your instrument. Again, like so. Weird, kind of crazy sounds, uh, you know, very unorganic, it's very strange. But the more you get comfortable doing that, the less strange it's gonna be. So now before I try to add anything to a bass line, I want to try to beatbox and kind of have that throat singing going on. Throat singing while you're buzzing on a mouthpiece, on your instrument. Remember, it's very hard to differentiate what's happening while you're letting the air blow out and you're buzzing, but if you really feel it in your throat, feel it in your chest as well, it's gonna come out a lot easier. And naturally, when you practice, it's gonna get even easier than that. So I wanna thank you guys for checking out this video on Patreon and getting experimental on the tuba slash sousaphone. Sorry for the purists out there. Um, and just be sure to check out everything else we have coming out on the Patreon. Thank you so much. Patrick and Friends Music Company.